now this is very brief it's a little bit of fun but you can see that for some reason you know we've been trying to measure time and i just want to ask this question and you can see here we've got the candle the sundial um the hour glass which is like the sand glass you know we've got the finger um way the way that you do you calculate time with the fingers the water clock and what i want to ask here is is it better right now in the comments box just write is it better or worse that we can read and know the time so easily now do you think it's better that we can know the time so easily or worse because if it was shady with the sundial you know there was just no way of knowing the time they just had to do things so what do you think is it better that we've got this immediate access to what's happening what time and when we must do things you know or is it worse what do you think lots of okay, ways worse. yeah yeah that's interesting isn't it so i'm here and a lot of you are saying you're picking up that phone in the morning you're checking the time and then you're looking at things so just you know keep aware that you also we want to work together with ourselves you know and i perceive it's worse now because i'm more accountable to my day and and time so so if a lot of people are saying that and obviously there is pros and cons to both so that was a beautiful um thing comment and you can tell us some of the pros <laughs> the person that wrote that what you think the pros are just keep feeding it into the comments so you can have an engagement with each other and see who's like me or oh, that's my new friend because they agree with me and who's not like me that's my friend and i'll chat to them you know but have this engagement because this is a very practical we're getting aware and looking what's going on now obviously we're going to move on to the word cheat because we're cheating time right like cheating cheater and so um cheat is like sort of considered to avoid something undesirable or to gain something desirable and it's not really that definition you'll see often and it's by luck or skill um supposedly and matseling um from joe matt my my awesome other partner um in south africa for you know 10 years or so she would always say she would put a p in front of the luck and say you pluck away at it so it's the work so to cheat is still work i mean the cheater still has to work but it thinks about what it's doing it uses speed and it moves and focuses yes and it moves and dodges and finds its quickest route to its prey so, so that's more like the instinct and animal and this is something that we do so easily we go to sensory the amygdala switches on which is the hind brain and then we're suddenly in this sensory world and we're either doing one of two things we're either running from the predator or we're running to the prey so we're doing one or the other and if you notice too much running and overwhelm and busy 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 doing things and you'll be over challenged eventually and burn out but also too much sitting and lazing around and you'll be over supported and become complacent and then you're going to have delayed pain because complacency we know ends up that surprises come in so we're looking to cheat and we're looking to use that skill and pluck away and use our animal part but we're going to use it more wisely and then obviously we've got this thing called time and then time is kind of like um more for me an intuition it's a spirit it's really hard to explain it you know um so 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 it's sort of the where do, where does it come from and and what do we do and why do we call this thing time you know and what does cheating time mean to you okay so 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 what we're doing here we're going to define the the cheating part as the animal and the instinct and the time part as the intuition and spirit because it's a little bit of a spirit thing it's like where did it come from and we're going to merge these two together on this journey and that's how we're going to get this one day going and um now uh what i also want to want to just draw you to is there is a set of books they called the great books of the western world they're 50 54 volume um and they've got the syntopican and that's like the summaries and they're the summaries and i've got them here and you can get them in joburg in the middle of town an old uh second hand set and i highly recommend them and this is the syntopican i'm not sure if you can see it but it basically talks about angel to love topics related in there and mental world and it's all the great minds of different ologies the newtons the platos the aristotles they're talking about a topic and in this case they talk about time so i can't go into 
everything they're saying, but just to keep it really simple and to draw your attention to two most important people, you can read the others on there, is um, Milton talks about the legacy. And I think that's important. The way we use our time is how we leave our legacy. And, and he, just, he, he discusses about writing things down for the immortal legacy for when you leave. So where is your mark and your words? And, and he talks about a poet holds a lover's beauty. So rather than decay, it lives on for eternity and immortal. So it's immortal. And so just think about that, what they're saying. It's such a beautiful thing for us to think about as to why we want to leave a legacy with where our greatest fulfillment is. And this is why you're here. You're here to use the time to do um, what you can. And, and obviously, once time is used, you can't get it back. And it depends on how you view the present as to how you want time to flow. So you want it to slow down. Do you want it to reverse? Go back in time. Who wants to go back in time as they're starting to get a bit older? Oh, man, it was so easy to, to keep my weight off. <laughs> you know, it was just so easy. I could eat whatever I wanted. And, and right in now, if anyone here, would, there's some things they'd like to go back in time and revisit and maybe check in on. Um, and that so just write in if what it is that you'd love to go back in time I'd like I'd like to go back to my my um, body and of, of 20 years old <laughs> and if you're 20 well then enjoy it <laughs> <laughs> Jody there was just a quick yes. question about the name of the book you showed please yes so it's a set of books it's a set of books and they're called the great books of the western world um, and the, it's a 54 volume set. It's now a 60 volume set. And um, this, at the beginning of the set, it tells you how to read it. It's a 10 year reading plan, because you can imagine, it's all the different ologies that you go into. So it's psychology, biology, it's got Darwin in it, you know, and they are talking about the great ideas, which is about quantity, quality, time, change, love, God, and so it's it's a very difficult start because it's all it was written in the 1900 early 1900s, and it was a um, guys that summarized it. But I'll send the link to Liesl and we'll get it out to you. And um, you you know you can pick up a secondhand set um, if you're clever in Joburg CBD. So I'll tell you the address. Everyone rush there if you're in Johannesburg, and you can go online and and get a set wherever you're from, hopefully. Hopefully there's some laying around because some people don't know always or don't want the value of that, of that information. And so the Syntopican is the summary. So it's the volume two and three, but you can't um, sort of get them separately so easily. You buy the whole set, which you want to do so you can cross-reference. Um, so yeah, so, so uh, one of the things that I just wanna also bring attention to is Aristotle and eudaimonia, which has been kind of uh, moved into this idea that it's about happiness. Aristotle didn't talk about happiness. What, what he more talked about was fulfillment and doing and being well. And that means to live a fulfilled life that embraces, embraces both happy and sad. It embraces both support and challenge. And so I think that's important. And you know on your journey so far that you are getting challenges and then you're getting support at times. And you know that both are serving you at different times. And sometimes you are perceiving that you're over-challenged. So just to draw you to that and a few other points. And you also can know that when you're infatuated with something, I just want you to also remember that when it's pleasure and infatuation, time goes really fast. So think back when you have met your first girlfriend or boyfriend or partner or person hopefully everyone's had a little bit of an experience of that and you meet them and it's the first few dates and you you get your first kiss you know and I know I'm referring to this but how fast does it seem to go that evening you know and yet when you're in pain you know and you're working on something that you really don't enjoy but you have to do it um or down the line, you know, you have the resentment phase and you sort of in this moment where time is going so slow. And it could be that it's for you, think back to even if you study or you've been on a course and there's a section that you don't really like and you're like, oh, I'm so bored, but I have to be here to get um, to get to, you know, do the exam or whatever it may be. And it just time seems to really slow down. 
So, so just know what is time then if these things are happening? Okay, so I'm just putting some thoughts into your head because the more that you can understand the topic, the more we can work with it.